All right, in this problem, we want to find a two by two matrix A whose eigenspaces are, are given to us, right? So normally we do the reverse. Normally we're given the two by two matrix A and then told to find what are the eigenspaces and then maybe sketch them or maybe just find a basis for the eigenspaces. But in this problem, we're doing the opposite. So the solution to this is really, really uh, beautiful. I would not, I don't think I would have been able to come up with it by myself. Um, but it's like really clever solution. I think you guys are going to appreciate it. Basically, it has to do with the fact that we identify right away that the matrix A is diagonalizable. And how do we know that it's diagonalizable by looking at this image? Well, it's because look, we can come up with two vectors that are linearly, two eigenvectors that are linearly independent. And since A is a two by two matrix, that's the determining factor. Can you come up with, remember, it's can you come up with n linearly independent eigenvectors? If so, it's diagonalizable. So if we look here, we have like this vector 2, negative 2, and this vector 2, 4. Those are two linearly independent eigenvectors. The matrix A is diagonalizable, meaning we can write it, we can write A in this form. Center for disease control inverse, right? And then we can come up with these matrices C and D, and then we can like compute C inverse and multiply them together and we'll get A. So that's the clever part. Like I would have never thought to use the fact that A is diagonaliz diagonalizable. So we say A is equal to C. What is our C matrix? It's a matrix whose columns are linearly independent eigenvectors of A. So let's just pick two. So here's one vector we could pick. This vector here, two, four. It's an eigenvector because it lies in the one eigenspace. So it has eigenvalue one. Our second vector, eigenvector, which has to be linearly independent because C has to be invertible, is we can just pick anything in the other eigenspace. We could pick two, negative two. What is our D matrix? Uh, it's the eigenvalues as a diagonal matrix. So we gotta have zeros everywhere that's not on the main diagonal. And then we see, well, we put this, it has to match, right? So we put this eigenvector 2, 4 in the first column. So what is, uh, so what goes here in the first column has to be the corresponding eigenvalue for 2, 4. And if you look, 2, 4 lies in the one eigenspace, meaning it's an eigenvector with eigenvalue 1. And then here in the second column of C, we put the eigenvector 2, negative 2. And 2, negative 2 lies in the negative 2 eigenspace, meaning 2, negative 2 is an eigenvector with eigenvalue negative 2. And then C inverse, well, it's just a 2 by 2 matrix. It's pretty easy to compute C inverse. It's 1 over the determinant of C, which is negative 4 minus 8, which is um, negative 12, right, times. And then we do that thing. We, we switch the entries on the main diagonal. And then we make the other diagonal entries, <clears throat> the entries on the other diagonal, we make them negative. Right? So this whole thing here is C inverse. And then I'll leave it up to you guys, but you guys know how to do matrix multiplication. You're going to take this neg negative 1 12th, distribute it through, and then you're going to just multiply these three one, two by two matrices together, and you'll get your A matrix. Really quick, the other way that you could do this, it might take longer. I don't know, it might take shorter. Who knows? This is the clever way. I like this way the best. The other way is if you just have some, if you write A in terms of four unknown entries and you multiply it by some eigenvector, so let's say 2, 4. By the definition of 2, 4 being an eigenvector, it lies in the, with eigenvalue 1 because it lies in the one eigenspace, A times 2, 4 should equal 1 times 2, 4 by definition of it being an eigenvector with eigenvalue one. Similarly, you could say that same matrix A times an eigenvector two, negative two, right? Oh, not negative four, two, negative two. By definition of two, negative two, being an eigenvector now with eigenvalue negative two should equal negative two times two, negative two. And then look, this is a system of four equations and four unknowns. It looks like it's just two equations, but you're going to like have one equation for the first row here. You're going to have like 2 times A plus 4 times B equals 2. And then you're going to have 2 times C plus 4 times D equals 4, just by matrix multiplication. And you're going to see you actually do have four equations, and then your four unknowns are the entries of A. You can find A that way. So those are the two ways to do it. 
Um, I think the first way is super clever, so I recommend the first way.